Good morning. Welcome to Making Stuff with Chris Dayhut. I'm Chris Dayhut, and today we're going to take a look at a very simple power source, or a couple of them, for your Raspberry Pi Pico projects. Now, it's not always convenient to have your Pico plugged into a computer via the USB cable. And that's when we get into utilizing various battery sources. And along the way, I'm going to show you a couple of projects, or at least one project that's up and coming. And uh, one of the devices that I've uh, been use, using and filming that is also battery powered. First thing we're going to take a look at um, is this uh, unit right here. And what we're seeing is a Raspberry Pi Pico, a Pico display, a DHT11 uh, environmental sensor for temperature and humidity, uh, a backer board here that I use for prototyping uh, some of my projects, and then a battery pack. If we take a look at it on the fritzing diagram here, you can see that it's brilliantly simple. Uh, here's the battery pack. Now this one is showing three uh, AAA batteries. The one I'm actually using on the desktop here is three AA batteries, but nonetheless you're getting four and a half volts. Uh, we connect that to a uh, VSYS for the hot uh, wire in, and then uh, also connect it to uh, ground. That's how the power gets in there. Now, uh, back here on the bench, I'm going to pull the back off. You can see it's very, very simple. These devices can be bought for a couple of dollars at most each. They're very handy for these small projects. Uh, use simple batteries, uh, and this particular model has an on and an off switch. Works brilliantly for what I'm doing. I've uh, had uh, nothing but good to say about it. I think I bought these off of AliExpress. I'll show you the box full of them that I have, and I usually keep quite a few around. Uh, but it works out really great for simple Raspberry Pi Pico projects. Now this whole contraption here is a temperature uh, logger unit. Uh, that'll be part of a project coming up uh, in the future here on the channel. Now this device here consists of another Pico display, the Raspberry Pi Pico's on the bottom of it. So this is literally what we're looking at inside this little white case. It's powered by one of these devices. This one was a freebie I got from a shipping company or shipping supply company. Uh, must have been a gift from ordering from them for so long or something. Um, but this unit here, uh, or this system, works out exceptionally well. These power banks store an awful lot of energy. They're very easy to recharge, so you don't have the waste of alkaline batteries. And very simple, plug that into this device, it turns on automatically, and auto runs the program. Now, you might be wondering why or what the heck this crazy thing is. Well, it's very important uh, for when I'm filming uh, these sequences or these stories. Uh, so that you kind of have an understanding of what's going on here, there's three uh, things recording all at the same time for this particular video. Sometimes I'm using four cameras or four devices recording. We'll start here at the desktop and I'm going to call up this clock. This clock here is the master clock for the whole video from beginning to end and that'll run depending on how long the video is and the whole filming sequence. Sometimes this runs for a whole day uh, from the time I start filming till the time I end. So this is the master timer, and uh, I'm recording this video using uh, recording software, desktop recording software. So there's no sound input, so I can't use a clicker or a popping sound to synchronize this uh, to the camera. So what I do is I synchronize this one to this camera just by timing it when I press a button. I'll start this timer. When it gets to five seconds, I press this button here on the Pico display, and then that sets this timer to the same time as it is here. And usually I'm off at most by about a tenth of a second. 
so it gets me close enough for synchronizing uh, everything in post-production. Now, off camera or before I, I start filming or whatever, I display this in front of this camera so that I know what time that camera is at, and then I pick it up, and then I hold it in front of that camera, let it record for a few seconds, and now I've got a timestamp between all three devices that uh, allows me to synchronize things in post-production and editing. If I've got another camera going, which I do sometimes, especially when using the oscilloscope, then I'll put it in front of that camera. Now all the cameras are easy to uh, easy to synchronize in post-production and I don't have to use one of those old-fashioned clapper boards. Getting back to our project at hand here, uh, battery power for the Raspberry Pi Pico projects is very simple uh, as you can see here. Uh, we've got using a power pack, uh, commonly av available, very inexpensive, um, often have the right cable already included with them. They're rechargeable, so you don't have a lot of waste. Uh, if you don't have those available and or you want to use alkaline or NICAD or lithium-ion batteries that are rechargeable in these battery packs, you can go that route too. And that might get you a mechanical configuration that might fit your project better. Nonetheless, it's a very simple uh, way to get power, uh, portable power, for your Raspberry Pi Pico projects. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris Dayhut for Making Stuff with Chris Dayhut. See you in the next video.